Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House and I'm back again with another sketch blog. 7 a.m. Time to wake up. <clears throat> you know, for those that don't know, 7 a.m. is a documentary that's produced by the good brothers over at theblackchannel.net. The brother Jason Black, he he's wanted to produce this documentary for a long time. He even took a hiatus from doing his uh, radio broadcast, theblackchannel.net, so he could produce this documentary. And I know he's had help from other people, especially uh, the his partner in crime, uh, Professor Black Truth. And this documentary, in my opinion, is probably the most important documentary concerning black people. You know, we've had documentaries focusing on history. We've had documentaries focusing on uh, entertainment, music, comedy. We've had documentaries uh, just focusing on like uh, everyday black lifestyle, but we've never had a documentary that's talked about what our root problem is in the black community. And that is economics or the lack thereof and not understanding economics because anytime we talk about problems in the black community our focus goes on to stuff that is is surface is not the root problem we focus on you know the lack of education uh, we'll focus on you know black people not knowing their history we'll focus on uh, you know which religion black people should follow uh, we'll focus on black celebrities and what they're doing and what they're not doing and the images they portray. But what we're not focusing on is why black people are always in the lowest strata when it comes to economics. And that goes to not just basic uh, income, but that goes to income, joblessness, and not having businesses of their own. We're always in those lowest numbers. <clears throat> and for for reasons that I, you know, I've had a hard time trying to wrap my head around. We don't focus on that. We always want to focus, like I said, on those surface problems. But what we don't realize is the lack of economics is what causes a lot of those problems. The lack of economics is such a big thing and such a big deal. And we're not even taking a look at that and, and wondering why we are at the bottom. And you know, in my opinion, the lack of economics is probably the reason why we do want to focus on those surface problems, because that's to us, that seems easy. It's easier for us to sit there and bicker about uh, which religion to follow is the best for black people, whether it's Christianity or Islam. It's easier to focus on, you know, what Beyonce and Jay-Z are not doing for the black community, because that's all superficial and it has no real it will give you no real solution we'll be able to argue on those points back and forth forever but what you cannot argue is the fact that there's no money there no matter what problems you might have or think you have economics is the one that's always going to uh, show its head because if you don't have any money it doesn't matter what a deity you pray to if you don't have any money it doesn't matter uh, how much history you know because all that is going to become useless because you can't assert yourself in the arenas that actually matter uh, the, arena, the arenas of business ownership and the arenas of politics the arena of what's going on just in your immediate cir social circle and I, what I mean by that is your actual community like your community government because to be honest black people really don't even have a community anymore what we have are we just have a situation where we live around each other we have black neighborhoods there is you know just whole uh, neighborhoods where black people live around each other there really is no community in the proper sense of what the word means because we're not really interacting on an economic level and, you know, that's kind of destroyed any other type of interaction, whether it be social, religious, 
or education. So, like I said, this documentary is going to focus on that and hopefully give us a, a great grasp of what our problems are and what the solutions can be. And the documentary features great people like Don Peoples, the Peoples Corporation, that features one of my favorite lecturers, and that's Dr. Claude Anderson. He's been talking about black economics and the lack thereof since since I can remember. I, I remember seeing one of his uh, videos back in like the early 90s. Uh, it has people... People like Dr. Umar Johnson, who's, you know, if anyone's seen any of his lectures, he does a lot about education. But, like I said, there's a lot of great speakers on there, and we actually do focus on the real problems. And I just wanted to say that I appreciate what the Black Authority has done here. And before anyone even goes, uh, gets to, you know, their fingers, gets itching about typing something on, uh, the comment section of this video, I'm letting you know right now, I'm not going to deal with uh, any type of YouTube or internet beef. If you have a problem with Jason Black or Professor Black Truth or their views, then that's on you. Or, or if you want to argue with them about their points of view, go deal with them. Don't. If you if you type something on this comment section that has that's petty or has some nonsense that has to do with. Uh, uh, beefing with other YouTubers, I'm going to delete the comment and I'm going to block you from ever commenting on this channel ever again. And this is partially, this is one of the major problems that we have is that we focus on so much inane nonsense that we can't see what's actually important out there. We rather focus on uh, beefing on YouTube or, you know, this person doesn't say things the way I like them to say it. So we're going to get upset with them and we're going to argue back and forth on a comment section or on social media. We don't want to focus on the fact that we have no money and no legacy to pass on to our children. Like I said, we'd rather focus on the petty stuff and the nonsense. And like I talked about before, you know, we want to focus on the celebrities and what they're doing and what they're not doing. That's all inconsequential. And what we need to be focused on is the, the economics. So the documentary actually is already done, guys. The 7 a.m. documentary is done. But the Black Channel is doing a, a fundraiser for doing the, the advertisement for the documentary because this is something that's so important that everyone needs to see it. It doesn't need to be just seen on the Internet or just on a small grassroots level like black people the majority of black people need to see this documentary so we can understand what our real problem is so there's a fundraiser going on at indiegogo i'm going to leave the links for everything in the description box below and i'm going to have the the link here it should be typed at the bottom of this video here so you can go look and see and if you can you know go in there and put in a little bit for the for the advertisement because what we want to do is get this out there to to the mainstream. Because they need to see this. And when I say the mainstream, I mean the mainstream of black people. That's what we need to see. And these are the solutions that we need to have. Because, I mean, there are black people out there who have never heard of Dr. Claude Anderson. Uh, there are black people out there who don't even know who Don Peoples is. Uh, there are black people who don't seem to understand. They're off into the minutia of you know religion and politics but they're getting confused because they don't understand what the our base problem is and how to fix it you know we, we think we need to pray harder or we need to keep voting for this political party without understanding the uh the at the ground level that we need an economic base to control all of that and to actually have control of our society and you know to have control of ourselves and our culture so I want you guys to go, you know, click on the links below in the description box and, you know, make that donation. I mean, in all honesty, I know you got some money somewhere because, I mean, you guys, we spend money on a bunch of nonsense. We'll spend money on, you know, the new sneakers that come out, some new tennis shoes that are the same tennis shoes that came out 
years before, we'll go spend money on these movies that essentially just insult our, either insult our intelligence or just make us look like uh, complete animals and buffoons. We'll spend money on these movies that we're, we don't even exist in that universe, you know. I'm a person who loves fantasy and sci-fi, but I'm completely honest when I say when I see these movies, there's no black people in there at all. And the reason for that is because we don't have the economic base to produce our own products. We used to, but, you know, as the, the, the saying always goes, the white man's ice is colder, so we'd rather go and align ourselves with the mainstream rather than want to do for ourselves. But we can do it. It can be done. And I I can't stress enough that how important this documentary is and why you guys should go over there and help with the help with the promotion. Because that's what we need is to get this out there to as just in front of as many people as possible. Because it talks about and answers a lot of questions that we've had for a long time. And the you know, the people in the, I guess you can say the progressive black community have been talking about this for a long time. And it's far beyond time that others get in on the, get in on the conversation. Because we are really missing a big component when we talk about uh, economics. Like I said, we, we don't talk about it at all, really. We just, we focus on surface things. We focus on, uh, you know, who, whether you're black enough if you have straight or kinky hair, uh, we focus on uh, black people and their skin tone color. If you're light skin, you're not good. If you're if you're dark skin, you're not good, or whatever. We focus on relationships and who's dating who and who's getting into bed with who. We focus on nonsense as to whether we need to accept homosexuality or is it against our religion? Is it part of our African spirituality? Like I said, all that stuff, I guess all that stuff is well and good and it has its place somewhere, but that's not our main problem. And in my opinion, our problems, all, the, all that stuff stems from the fact that we don't have an economic uh, base. You know, so because we can't pay our bills, we'd rather focus on nonsense. They always say, you know, uh, entertainment is the opiate of the masses, so that's... That's what we focus on. We focus on stuff to entertain our mind because we don't have anything of substance to grab hold of. And I want that to change. I'm sure people that listen to me want that to change. And I want us to, you know, sh have a good showing out there that we, there are pe black people out there that want something different. They want something different, not just for themselves, but for their children and their children's children. They want to actually go out there and build that legacy. So please, guys, do me this one favor. If you don't do anything else for Chris Crazy House for the entire year, go to 7 a.m. Check out the trailers for the movie at the website. I'm going to post the link to the website. And also go check out the fundraising on Indiegogo. It's doing well so far. But we, we don't need to just do well. We need to do the best that we can. So go out there and do that and support 7 a.m. Peace out.